Hope you're not feeling emotional today, or that is sensitive. Hi. Today we're going to be talking about Microsoft sensitivity labels. So not the sensitivity that comes with emotion, but the sensitivity that comes with your private data. Welcome back to my video series on the DP600 exam. And today we're going to be talking about sensitivity labels in Microsoft Fabric. So let's go ahead and let's jump into Microsoft Fabric. So first of all, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you a full demo of how sensitivity labels work because I don't have a peer review subscription. I'm not an enterprise customer. I'm just on a Microsoft trial. But what I can do is walk you through how they're, they're kind of set up. So first, whoever is your peer, your peer view administrator for your organization has to go through and they have to configure those security labels. Once those security labels are enabled, you can then go into your admin portal and you can go into settings and you can turn them on under the information protection. Since I'm just in a trial, if I try to go ahead and turn this on, I'll go ahead and get an error. But once these labels are turned on, you can go ahead and you can apply them to the majority of your fabric items. So Microsoft has a pretty good write up on how to do this for Power BI, uh, which I'll go ahead and I'll link in the description, but let's cover a few of the kind of the key takeaways that you should get. First of all, if you apply a sensitivity label in Microsoft Power BI, it will not uh, carry down into Power BI desktop, or sorry, it will not limit access to the client, but it will, if you download it into desktop, can block users from actually opening up the file. Labels are also inherited by downstream content. So if you apply a sensitivity label to a semantic model and then try to connect a report to it, that report will inherit the sensitivity model of that label. When you are currently applying sensitivity labels in Microsoft Fabric, there's kind of two different ways to do this and Microsoft has this documented. First is with the flyout menu right here. So like if you're in your lake house, the other way is if you go into the item settings, you can then go into sensitivity label and configure it. Once you have done this, what your admin can then go ahead and do is they can go ahead and they can click this, this kind of this gear level right here and they can go into the Microsoft peer review hub. In this hub, you can view all kinds of cool things. So mine's gonna be pretty empty because I haven't gone ahead and I haven't paid for peer view. But what you'll be able to see is you'll be able to see kind of all of your different sensitivity labels. You'll be able to see endorsements. You'll be able to see like, hey, who's not applying these labels in which domains, right? So who's not compliant if you're an admin. And then if you go within the domains, you can, you'll be able to see all of, um, the kind of the different pieces and then where uh, certain metrics or things are being created. All right, so that's sensitivity labels in Microsoft Fabric. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. And uh, if you've successfully implemented Microsoft Peer Review at your organization, let me know how it went. I know Microsoft Peer Review is, you know, so, so it's not talked about a lot, but a data catalog does uh, play a, like, almost an essential piece of an organization's larger data strategy. So I'm interested to hear about it. Thanks for watching. And, you know, it's evening right now, so I hope you have a good evening.